Would you like to learn why there are feature plugins and support folders as soon as you create the Cypress, Cypress project? And also where your test files should be safe? Well, keep watching this video and we will learn together. Hi Geeks, I'm Joe Ang Media and please subscribe if you would like to keep learning about technology. If you are interested in how to install Cypress in your OS, just click in the pop-up or the comment section below. You will find a direct link to get uh, to that video and we'll have a step-by-step -step guide of how to install Cypress. All right. As soon as you create a Cypress project, uh, it will uh, create a suggested uh, folder structure. All right. As you can see in this slide, this is the default structure that it will have. Basically, we're, we're going to have a Cypress folder, which is going to be like the parent. And inside of it, we're going to have the fixtures, integration, plugins and support folder. They are created by default and um, we'll, we'll try to understand uh, what is the meaning of every single one of them. All right. So. Uh, the structure can be modified right and configured with different folders right now we are going to follow the suggested structure but probably in our in another video we can review how to configure other folders and we'll set different things please let me know in the comment section below if you want that all right <laughs> thank you so let's continue let's talk about a uh, test files all right and um, the, the test files um, or, or actually let's start answering the question about where you should save your test files by default those tails test files uh, should be saved under the folder cypress integration all right that's the place uh, that ha is defined to save or store your test files we can write our test using the, 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 the extensions that you can see in the uh, screen, basically .js, .jsx, .coffee, and .j, uh, .cjsx, all right? If you want to create your own test files, you just have to add them inside of the integration folder and refresh your test runner to execute them, all right? So please let me show you very quick uh, how to create a new test file, just to have in mind and have a real life example of how to do it basically this uh, project is the one that we have created when we install the uh, the cypress framework right or the cypress project this is the video if you want to go ahead and click on that you can just uh, go there and understand how to install cypress so for example i'm, I'm gonna delete this file right and uh, well, we're gonna run the test runner. How I can do that? Basically, I have a script over here which is Cypress Open, and I just can come here in in the console. I just uh, enter npm run, and I'm gonna uh, well write down the script. That's good. Let me just check if I'm recording. I am. Thank you. And uh, well, as you can see. This is the Cypress runner, the test runner that Cypress uh, will provide us. As you can see, it is showing the integration test folder. And inside of it, we have different examples that becomes by default and also this sample spec. If we check this um, sample spec, it is actually uh, saying the describe uh, and the it. This is the test case in particular, right? If you want to learn how to write tests, please subscribe because I, I will will actually bring new videos to uh, show you and will actually try to teach you how to write down your uh, test, all right? So your tests. So, uh, well, that's basically how uh, where where the um, is your test should be saved. If I run this, uh, you will see that the Chrome browser is gonna be open. And well, this is the first, uh, the actually the only um, test file that I have right now, and it is just a dummy one. It is actually currently uh, well having an assertion error because well, it is obviously that true. It is not equal than false, <laughs> but that's it. Uh, well, now let's take a look of how to create an, another uh, te test file. So if I come here and I copy this. And I'm gonna paste it inside of the uh, well integration folder. We're gonna have a copy, right? Sample spec copy. And as you can see, well, the test runner actually get 
the new um, JS JS file automatically. So if if we come here, you will see that I have the same results, and that's how you can create another test file in Cypress. So I just wanted to show you that. Also, uh, well, we're gonna take a look more in depth about this test runner. So please let me know in the comments if you want to look that video in the future. Thank you. Well, let's continue with the presentation. All right. Well, we have covered test files. Now we're gonna take a look at fixture files. Let's start answering the another question about where you should save uh, or actually not I, I don't want to <laughs> answer any other question let's talk about feature files probably you you will face or your team will need to execute data driven testing for example or actually uh, using JSON files uh, CSV files or Excel files right that's why this folder exists Cypress fixtures are used as external pieces of static da static da data, all right, that can be used by your tests, and they are gonna be located under the Cypress fixture folder by default, all right. As you can see in this slide, we have a JSON file here with a kind of dummy data, but it is an example of how the fixture uh, should look, all right. Um, if you want to use your fixture files in your test files, you will need to use the command cy.fixture, uh, all right? If you want to learn how, and uh, we'll, we'll actually have a real example about this, please let me know in the comment section below, and I'll be more than glad to bring you that too. So, uh, well, we're going to start looking at another type of files. For example, the downloaded files. There are certain scenarios where you have to test a download button, for example, or some other web element. The tr and it could trigger a download, right? Cypress will create a downloads folder by default to save this kind of data. And it is gonna, well, as, as always, uh, will be under the Cypress parent folder. There is another uh, kind of files that Cypress can support by default, and those are screenshot files. Uh, they are gonna be safe under Cypress screenshots, all right? And, uh, well, uh, this will be automatically created when the, the command cy.screenshot is executed, right? But also, it will be generated by default when a test fails and a, well, a screenshot is taken as an evidence of the failure. Just have that in mind and that's another possibility that we have in Cypress. Well, we also have the video files. Uh, basically, they are um, pretty much the same as the screenshots uh, Cypress has the um, the capacity to record the execution of your tests so um, that's why they have a default folder folder to save your recordings and it is under Cypress videos all right just wanted to let you know that well let's continue with another type of files in this case is a plugin file well let's um we can also have plugin files in our project and and you might be wondering what are plugins all right basically plugins enable you to tap into modify or extend the internal behavior of cypress normally the cypress commands commands are executed in the browser right however since cypress is a node process we can modify the configuration, the preprocessors, the run lifecycle, among other things. By default, plugins, uh, plugin files will be stored uh, at Cypress plugins, and for example, in this case, the, that example of index.js. All right. So I just want to let you know and introduce the world of the plugins. Uh, well, let's continue with the support file. This is a very interesting and important one. Um, by default, Cypress will create automatically uh, this uh, index.js file under support, all right? Have that in mind because it is important. And uh, this, files, uh, this file runs before every single spec test file. And why? Basically, uh, or why it is important? Because basically you won't have to import this file or require it in every single one of your specs. Let me give you an example. Let's say that I, you're, you, you work for a website named joanmedia.com, all right? You can specify in the, inside of this index file a login method to avoid the specification of that process in every single spec or test file in your framework. It is gonna be executed 
before every single execution all right just have that in mind because it is very very important all right it is important yeah so um the initial support file can be configured or actually turned off completely if you want you don't, if you don't want to use that all right just have that in mind because it is important and uh, well why uh, this or actually this support file is amazing place to put reusable behaviors such as for example custom commands uh, global overrides and so on from this file we can import or require other files to keep things organized right and if you want to learn how to write tests or actually no uh, yeah that's basically the <laughs> i was looking uh, actually uh, reading my script and and i uh, will have a mistake here that's basically the support folder uh, that we have here right now so um if you want to learn how to write tests in the next video we are gonna take a look of that um i highly recommend you to watch another video that i have in my channel let me just give you that example it is inside of john media of course and here you have a mocha and chai tutorial all right it is gonna help you to understand the structure of how the the tests are written in cyprus all right have that in mind and see you in the next one thank you very much for watching the video this was john media thank you very much geeks for watching till the end and see you in the next one bye bye